30, the second part until 10 30 this evening. Mandy Henry, you got to start. Morning, Ollie. Morning. Morning. And um, you're fighting, of course, for top four villa fighting for survival. So where do the biggest threats come from in this villa side? I think they're, uh, they've shown since the lockdown that uh, they can hold their own. They've been, they've been tight games, all of the, the games they've had. You can see they've clearly worked on, uh, on their shape and their counter-attacks are uh, one of the most powerful, uh, powerful ones in the league. They, they spring quickly, so you've got to be ready for that and set place. Good delivery and uh, some good first contact players, big size. And of course, there's uh, some individual players there. David De Gea is about to overtake Peter Schmeichel in terms of his appearances for Manchester United. Having watched him from afar, Ollie, and now obviously working with him, firstly, did you think he'd develop into the keeper we see today? And secondly, is that loyalty becoming more rare in football in nine years at, at the moment at the club? Yeah, David, as you say, he's got uh, he's had some fantastic seasons here now. Uh, next year is, is his 10th. And I think he's, he's proven uh, Eric Steele right, that uh, we believed in him. He had a little bit of a tough ride early on with the physicality of football uh, in England. But he's, for me, he's been the best goalkeeper in the world over the last uh, nine, ten years. And just to work with him cl closely, uh, you see he's still, he's still keen to learn. He's still working hard. Richard coming in with Craig as the coaches. I think they've uh, reignited a little bit of spark in David and he's working really hard in training. Morning, Ollie. Morning, yeah. Ollie. Um, Grealish, Jack Grealish was the, the standout player when you guys played at Old Trafford. Is he going to be the main threat again? And just how impressed have you been by him? Because he seems to have really kicked on since his last spell in the Premier League. Well, I think last game, he obviously they... Uh, they caused us some problems, both uh, Grealish off the left and El Ghazi off the right caused us problems. Uh, he scored a fantastic goal. Uh, so uh, there's been lots of said, said and talked about, uh, about him and we need to be aware of him. Uh, whoever's close to him, if he's off the left or if he's in the middle on the right, what he does is attract players to him and create space for others. So. Um, there's not just one player in, in that Villa team, there's many of them. Um, you, obviously, Victor Lindelof might miss the game, you, you suggest as much with a back injury, but you, you've stuck to the same 11 for is it three league games in a row now. You, you, you yourself in your playing days had to put up with time on the bench. How, how do you keep the squad happy when they're all going to be chomping at the bit even more than usual, given the, the break in play and that the, the, some of them may not have played for three or four months? Well, there's not many that hasn't played in the last two weeks. There's so many games now, and uh, so they're all, they all know they're fit, they all know they're available, they all know that uh, they're valued, and they're going to be important for us if it's coming on for half an hour, starting this time maybe, maybe 45 minutes. So, not an issue. There's so many uh, things to play for. Trophies, FA Cup and Europa League, but also the, the top uh, three or four positions in, in the league as well. So... Players are, the culture, the, the group is very uh, tight-knitted uh, and they're, they know that they've got a part, a part to play. Oli, um, you gave Nemanja Matic uh, quite a long contract this week. Scott McTominay was one of the kind of standout players before uh, lockdown. Can, can McTominay learn from him because he might feel a little bit disappointed that he's not been playing or not starting games recently? Yeah, I think uh, Scott obviously is still a young boy. He's uh, seven or eight years younger than Nemanja. So, and I think Nemanja has been on record saying how much he rates Scott and how much he uh, can see almost himself in him. So the two of them uh, can bounce off each other, I think. It's never, never easy. I remember I, there's so many times I've said to Nemanja, I'm going to play Scott today. And he accepts it because Scott is, he, he really rates him. Then I speak to Scott, I'm going to start Nemanja today. And he, he really rates him as well. So they, they accept it. Of course, they can play together. So, and I'm sure Scotty will learn a lot from Nemanja. He's, he's, 
the attributes he's got, but also the the way he's gone about this job in the Mania the last few uh, few seasons at the club has been they've been great. And just in terms of where you are in the league, with Leicester drawing last night, now if you win all your remaining games, you will get into the top four. Do you think you will need to win all your games? Is that what you are anticipating? Yeah, I think so, yeah. They're, of course, you never know what's going to happen. But I think it looks like, uh, obviously, the, the teams around, they're playing well. But there's so many games. So we just focus on this one, the next one and that one. And if you win every single one of them, we're in the top four. So we cannot uh, uh, rely on help from anyone else. Uh, we just have to do it ourselves. And that's to grow as a team and know that going into next season, we can put a different challenge uh, to other teams as well in front of us. Hi, Ollie. There was an awful lot made of your remarks to Nathan Ake after the game at Old Trafford on, on Saturday. Did you really mean that you wanted a left-footed centre-back? That seemed to be what you said to him. I've got seven centre-backs, so I don't know where that comes from. So uh, we're, fine. we're fine. Ollie, do you think that Bruno Fernandes is making his teammates better players, or if not making them better players, giving them more confidence, especially when they got the ball? I think it's gone both ways. I think... Bruno has come into the club, seen how many good players there are at Man United, that we've helped him uh, show uh, his attributes as well. And I think it's it's just been uh, a good uh, little relationship that's uh, blossoming. That Because I think the, he can also feel that we're going to help him improve. And yeah, definitely Bruno's come in and lifted everyone else as well. So... It's been a very, very good uh, start so far. Andy Mitten. Good morning, Ollie. Hi, Andy. Given how well the forwards are doing and the minutes they're receiving, do you feel vindicated in the changes you made last summer? There was some criticism that there was no established number nine, for example, and your old manager wasn't afraid of making unpopular decisions. <laughs> no, I, this isn't a pop, uh, popularity contest, that's for sure. I've got to make decisions that I think is for the benefit of the club and uh, the decisions we've made last summer and throughout January, bringing players in, uh, allowing players to move on, I think in my mind they were always for the good of the club and the team, uh, both in uh, uh, giving youngsters a chance but also giving trust to the, to the other ones. And also, well, accepting that some players have been great servants at the club. So for me, uh, I would still make the same decision if I can go back 12 months or six months. OK, last question for me, Hi, Ola. Um, I'm beaten in 16 games now. How does that affect, you know, the whole group's mentality? Well, as a footballer, you know... Uh, you can't just pick out your confidence from the fridge. Uh, you have to have it from what you do every day in training, but also, but the results, they matter. And now the last yeah, 16 games uh, unbeaten, which gives us more confidence. But 16 games is nowhere near what a Man United team should strive towards. So we can still go many games unbeaten if we focus on the right things. If we do... Focus, if we focus on the next one, the next one, the next one, and suddenly you, you stood there with 16, that's what we've done. So hopefully we, that can continue.